Lost Ark is like that guy or girl that you go on that first date with where you wince when you first see them. You're like, whoa, there's some really, really big red flags out here that scare the absolute hell out of you, especially based off of some of your own past experiences. But then you finally sit down at the table, you look past some of those red flags, and then you find something really special there. Something really refreshing and unique that puts some spice and heat back into your life. Something that you never really experienced before. So now the next thing that you know, they're suddenly in your bed and then you have an amazing night because damn, they're good at that. That is such a good one night that you end up going on more dates with this person. But then a few dates into it, it really starts to come out. Those red flags, red flags. Then you start learning more about the scary side of them. You start to learn outright terrible things and have friends tell you that they will eat up all of your time and require constant attention and pampering. Oh, oh no, that your new boyfriend or girlfriend is going to burn right through your wallet. Now you learn about the endless count of their exes that suddenly went missing forever. So Lost Ark? I will stay friends with Lost Ark, but Lost Ark isn't the type that you take home to your mother or put the ring on its finger. Oh hell. <laughs> not in my book, not for me at least. To finish the analogy, Lost Ark is that really amazing one night that you had, but damn, pass that, stay away. If I'm gonna be really frank with you, if anything, it is a tragedy to have a game with this many solid core fundamentals. Fundamentals that I have thoroughly enjoyed be absolutely mangled by things that I cannot overlook that I know are looming in the background. It's a damn shame. It is genuinely a damn shame. Now that is going to get us into the why. Why do I feel this is the case with Lost Ark? Let's start this off with the good because Lost Ark, while I certainly do feel exactly how I just stated about it, the analogy and everything, it has a magnificent set of features that I don't want to ignore. They have some really really, really compelling reasons to play. Like, let's take Paladin, which is undeniably my favorite job in this game right now. I would, I wish that there was the summoner, but we'll talk about that more in a second. But let's take the Paladin, and this is undeniably one of the best designed Holy Paladin jobs I have played in any game ever. To me, this definitely does rival the, like, level of, like, Paladin in 14. Although Paladin in 14 is obviously a tank, the Paladin in Lost Ark is obviously more of a support. When I'm playing a Paladin, I'm looking for something that weaves in powerful holy magic with swordcraft. And when we're talking about Lost Ark's Paladin, ho, oh, it beautifully weaves in that powerful holy magic with the swordcraft that feels weighty and good. The combat for Paladin was actually, I, I will say riveting. I don't say that lightly. It was responsive, clicky, weighty. It felt good to go into this. And that clicky combat feeling, just to be clear, continued when I leveled my tank as well as my artillerist. The gun lancer felt absolutely rewarding with its combos and massive tankiness and just <laughs> explosive combos. The artillerist with its devastating powerhouse abilities and even turrets felt hilariously awesome to play. Not to even mention when we're looking at like bigger metagame and then the balance like the balance between the paladin and the bard for instance the two supports at release right now the like the balance between these two supports is very neck and neck with never like one truly overshadowing the other into like a lower rank most tier lists have them solidly at the same level that consistency is nice balance is pretty solid there was actually a comparison video that i definitely can recommend on them which i really learned a lot and basically they're super balanced, but damn, I really cannot emphasize that the combat was just oh, chef's kiss. I really enjoyed Lost Ark's combat. It was very much giving me Warframe vibes, and I have a lot, a lot of time in Warframe over the years. Warframe's combat keeps me coming back. Now let's talk about the stuff that I want to get out of the way as stuff that, to be frank, I don't care about. That's not why. These are not reasons why I play Lost Ark, and it's not going to sway me one way or another. And that's the story. Yeah, I like a good story, but it feels like everyone just talks, oh, this story is so bad, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I get it. Like, it is not an excellent storyline, as many people have pointed out. 14 has really spoiled us, but it is far better than nothing. But the entire questing experience for me, while it was quick, eh, which I appreciated because I just honestly want to grind, like, the combat, it was largely unmemorable outside of this one castle siege, which I thought was really cool. But even during that, I noticed my hands reaching for the escape key and it's just like, you cannot skip, you cannot skip. And I'm like, really? I want to keep smashing things. But my point is, that's not something I'm going to raise as a negative because I feel that that's really low hanging fruit. And to be quite frank, for Lost Ark, I don't care about its story. I'm not invested into it. If anything, this questing and leveling is just 
in the way of the good stuff, which is the combat. There were many times that I just slammed the G key over and over and over to skip it because I needed to get back into the combat right then and there, and wow. Shut up, you stupid priest. Blah, 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 you have darkness inside. Yeah, you know what? I was 14 years old too and very angsty. Just shut up and let me smash things in Lost Ark, thanks. Peace and love, that is honestly just how I felt about it. So now let's get into the bad, and we're going to go on a timeline that is like that bad girlfriend or bad boyfriend dating scenario. So I am arriving at the table with my date Sally or Gabe, and right before I even sit down, right on their face, I see this giant, pulsating, gnarly, infested cash shop. Cash shop. <laughs> and then I think to myself, oh great, here we go again down the standard free-to-play MMORPG that milks us for everything we got. Even armed with fear of missing out sales. Great, I love this so much. Oh yeah, and it has currency that you change money into this currency that you then spend these multiple intermediate currencies. I Great. Which, based on my past experiences, the upgrade paths which are very similar to exactly what we see in Lost Ark, I've seen before in games that I have played myself, like RF Online or Ion or Conquer 2.0, with incredibly brutally punitive upgrade ladders. Like, in particular, I remember many, many years ago playing on a private server for RF Online, and like the amount of like money some of the items would cost in the cash shop for like a I don't know, like a plus five accretion launcher uh, weapon would be like <laughs> astronomical. Also the Chorus Summoner weapon was like crazy expensive too. But I'm gonna reel it right back to Lost Ark, but I've seen this before and I'm like, oh God, I've seen this before and it's been really painful. But in spite of that, I sit down at the table in spite of my initial impression. And then the waiter comes in with a menu and then my date, Lost Ark, tells me, oh well, no, you're not allowed to order a male bard or a male mage because it's gender lock which is like really crappy and then i play characters that i can identify with and one key aspect is that i am male i identify as a male and um identify with like a male character i'm not comfortable playing anything else that's just a preference thing i don't think that that's a bad thing to have a preference it's just like many men want to play their little girl characters like oh yeah and then lost ark also told me just smacked the menu out of my hand and said that i couldn't order the summoner or the scout either which were two jobs that i genuinely want to play and to be quite frank when everything <laughs> was said and done at that point i was just glad that i came to order the paladin sandwich anyhow and boy was i sure pleased when it came but i've already talked about that paladin is mwah, chef's kiss now we're getting into the night i'm a little bored and lost ark made eh, a good enough impression now we're heading home to enjoy a good night and wow like i said in the good section was that ever impressive that was a night worth having that was a really good night winky face poggers so obviously we kept going on more dates because that was a good experience but now we're at the turnaround these cracks start to show and oh oh my god did they ever this is where we have the turnaround I hit the Stronghold content and it became apparent that Lost Ark wants to consume my life like wild, basically chugging my time, and that there were timers for this setting, this, timed merchants, uh, FOMO, this, FOMO, that, like, the shop has FOMO, there's this FOMO merchant that comes into your Stronghold, and you're like, oh, oh my god, like, what if I miss, like, a week? And it was just like a lot of repetitious tasks and what I'd call daily chores. To be clear, I came to Lost Ark for the combat and that is what won me over. Basically no other aspect other than the combat really got me into the game. As soon as I hit the main castle city, I was bombarded from all angles with engravings and then upgrade paths and this and that. And I just spent the next day, literally, I just, I logged off at that point. I logged off after I was introduced to the stronghold. And then the next day I spent looking into what the end game actually looks like and everything came crashing down very quickly for Lost Ark in my mind. And one of the first time consuming things, and there's multiple here, is I learned that one main character isn't even the way to play this game. Instead, I need a ton of alts, and I am massively, intensely not a fan of playing a ton of different characters, especially as a working adult that works a full-time job and does some content and wants to stream. Like, that's uh, asking a lot. And this is a criticism that I have of World of Warcraft, is I don't want to go through the slog of leveling something up just so that I can have, like, a Resto Shaman and a Resto Druid and a Holy Paladin. I just want to play all healers on one. Yes, I know 9.2 is apparently doing a lot of... Uh, count wide unlocks 
point is, like, when I was playing World of Warcraft, that was not a thing. That isn't getting into the fact that in Lost Ark, you need to actively do a laundry list of things on these alts mentioned in this Reddit post that include daily and weekly activities, as you can literally see in a list. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, it is not enough to just level them. You need to gear them up and use them in higher end content, which is where I hilariously enough learned that apparently Paladin and Bard are what people run as trash alts to basically get loot and funnel because apparently Paladin and Bard just don't need gear and like people are just like, oh, these are the cheap classes. And I'm like, great, I want to play something cheap. That really didn't leave a good impression on me when people said that. And even if that's not true, because there's people that will say, oh, that's not necessarily true. You know what? The fact that someone even said it left an impression in my mind that Paladin is cheap. And it's just like, ah. I, I'm trying to get over it, but I'm not able to get over that. Obviously, there's even more depth to like the alt system here, but a lot of people are even saying you make alts just to funnel stuff to your main character in order to progress your main character. Also, there is the roster stat system. I'm going to try and cut that here because I noticed that we're going over time. The point is, for someone who can no life grind, this is amazing. I am not one of those people. I work a full-time job as well as looking at a move, and I have so many responsibilities on my plate right now. That is not possible. Especially actually when I have 14 already as my main game that I'm basically engaged to at this point. I love 14 so much. And 6.1 and then ultimate race right around the corner. Live letter on this Friday. Hype. But um Lost Ark plus this. Ooh. Ooh. And now this gets us into an even scarier thing is the upgrade system. And to keep it as short as possible it's RNG gone wild. Like this one guy failed a 75% success rate upgrade six times to only upgrade a facet ability stone, which is horrible. Now, if you look at this chart from this YouTuber, it drops below a 50% upgrade chance at plus eight on a piece of equipment. It could go up to plus 25. <laughs> I'm not even joking, look at the chart, where it goes to abysmally low 0.5% chance to upgrade. Um... And as that video itself says, that is going to cost a nauseating amount of time or money. Now you need to also upgrade all of your gear pieces, your weapons, your armor and all that through there. And the gear treadmill is steep. And now people are going to be like, why do you care about the gear treadmill? You cannot access multiple forms of content for months unless you spend either a ridiculous amount of time waiting, literally seven to 10 months quoting this video, according to this Experience Lost Ark player, or if you use your credit card. Aha, aha, uh -huh. uh -huh. there's the catch. It's all about the cash. <laughs> and peace and love, my big takeaways from talking to experienced veterans in the Lost Art community, people who like were like, okay, I recommend that you could try this, but I have come from like a Russia server to 14 to get away from this. Basically, a lot of this game is less about skill and more about swiping a credit card. Does this mean that there's no skill involved? Obviously not. Definitely not if you look at any of the content, but it is less about skill and more about swiping a credit card because you can be born with a talent, an absolute beast at that game. Yet if you don't meet a certain threshold of gear, groups won't even consider you. Now you can say, oh, just be patient. Jeez, why aren't you so patient? These Zoomers, these younger millennials, they don't know patience. God, if I haven't heard that enough times in my life. Patient? Sure, okay, I can be patient. Not for the housing market though. But now hear me out. I raise the fact that when the updates happen that do a higher level gear refresh, so like level boost from like what 14 did from 80 to 90, that that gear refresh will be such an immensely bitterly agonizing experience for anyone after that level of grind. If the money ever starts slowing down, I can see that as a clear opportunity to raise the level cap and get new gear in and make the whales spew money everywhere, just everywhere. Like look at this thumbnail, $30,000, $30,000. I cannot even begin to express myself. You don't even need to look past the thumbnail. That is outrageous. That is a solid chunk of a down payment on an actual, in real life, house on a video game. What the fuck? How I could get a new rental property for that? What the fuck? Now this gets into other things that were honestly beautifully summarized in this one Reddit post and, if, and it says things like, make sure to check report every day. Let's exhaust energy of life every day. That's quite literal now, isn't it? <laughs> 
develop your estate. Let's collect. And as soon as I started having to collect things, the game actually kind of diminished in quality for me. I'm just like, damn, I just want to smash things. Uh, check the event schedule that changes every day. And yes, there is still more that you can do if you somehow manage to exhaust even that. And so these reasons, these reasons, all of them are why I said what I really did at the start of the video. Lost Ark, for the amazing gameplay and class design, is absolutely dismantled, absolutely torn to tatters by its end game requirements to participate in content and its absolutely barbaric upgrade mechanisms. Like if someone asked me, do you think you're going to play more Lost Ark? Yes, I think I'm going to play Lost Ark into level cap just to experience the Paladin. I definitely had a good time with the combat, but I would be extremely, and I'm I do not say this lightly, I have really, really thought about it before I was going to say it on my channel. I'd be surprised if I broke over 200 hours on it. I would be genuinely, genuinely shocked. Once the shiny and new effect is gone, I don't see myself continuing. Especially if I do try the upgrade system and that I fail for like the 20th time on an upgrade. It's honestly a damn shame. Lost Ark is a damn shame in my opinion. So much potential, absolutely torn apart by Endgame. 